Hello and welcome to Just Vintage Crochet. Let's jump right into another mystery pattern. The coat I'm currently making for us, the 1970s coat, you guys are going to love it, but uh, it is taking a little longer because I'm waiting for something to come into the mail. So I figured while we wait, let's unlock another hidden gem from the past. If you're new to the channel, I've got a lot of patterns here and I'm constantly adding to them. These patterns range from the 1840s to the 1960s or 70s. Each pattern is numbered. I draw a number, I work that pattern, and you will notice a lot of things are blacked out. We have no context, no title. Anything in the pattern that could possibly give away what it is is completely eliminated. There are no pictures. Pictures have all been cut out. We do, when a pattern has a picture, we do have the picture. My son has them. He's the one who picks all of these out and gets them ready for us. He blacks them out, keeps the pictures from me, and I simply work the words. And we find out what it is in the end and if I'm a success. So here we go. Let's pick our number. Okay, so let's pick our number. Would you look at how thin that is? Boy, we need to put some more patterns and some more numbers in this. I don't like that it's so thin. I like having a big choice. What's this? What number? Nope. Oh yeah, we definitely, definitely need some more patterns. Come on. We, I've got to have Justin put some more patterns in here. Put the kid to work. Number 20. Let's put this back in at least. You know, we've had these nopes and try again since the very first pattern. Number 20. 23. 22. 24. Number 2. Oh, number 20. And just what are you? This says summer 1980. I don't think this pattern is from 1980. I think this is from one of those old time crochet magazines that was gifted to me in a Happy Mail. I think this is an older pattern than that because I recognize, you know, I recognize this. This is a very useful pattern and can be, and can be enjoyed in making a great variety of things. Counter panes, corvées, I can never pronounce that for chairs, sofas and bureaus, mats, pin cushions and lace. I mean, that's a wide variety of things. Lace, pin cushions, mats. Uh, we've got a pretty big variety here. I'm going to use this is this is from my latest Happy Mail. We're going to use this number five pearl crochet cotton. I have two of them, and they're like pearled, so they have like little you know ripples. Let's use this. Let me look up what hook is best for number five th thread. Almost said cotton, but I wanted to say thread, sorry. Okay, so with my number five thread, I will be using a 1.75 millimeter hook. So hopefully that's the right size because it doesn't, I mean, maybe right here it says materials, but we'll never know. All right, begin in the center, make eight chain, insert the needle in the first stitch of the chain and make a long treble stitch. Then make three chain. I wonder if this is a UK pattern. Miss, this is a UK pattern. So a long treble is going to be a double treble. Make a long treble stitch. Then make chain three, repeat four times. Always inserting the needle. When they say needle, this tells me this pattern must have come from the 1800s and someone just, I mean, it's just typed out in this font. Cause this, this wording is very Victorian. All right, let's just start with starting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, chain eight, insert the needle in the first stitch of the chain and make a long treble stitch. I mean, a long treble in UK terms, It, at least in Victorian UK terms, it is a double, it's a double, it's a treble crochet in US terms.
One, two, three. Okay. And then make chain three and repeat four times from here. All right. One, two, three. Get this out of your way. And then into that same stitch. One, two, three, two, three. So I will be right back in just a moment. Okay, so I repeated four times. Now I'm gonna end with a chain three because the repeat ends with a chain three. And then it says to, always inserting the needle in the first chain. Yes, we did that. Join the last chain to the fifth stitch. Now I'm even more confident that this is supposed to be a treble. To the fifth, to the fifth of the first of the eight. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, and five. All right. There we go. All right. Now it's work one double crochet. I'm just going to go ahead and work a double crochet as we know it here in the U.S. Oh, you probably want to see it. Work one double crochet. Now here's the start of the repeat. Nine chains, turn. Work a single crochet stitch in each of the nine chains. Work round the stem, stem. Work round the stem thus made in double crochet. Working three stitches into one. I, I'm just gonna, <laughs> let's just start with step one. Step one is to work a double crochet. So that is one, two, three chains, and then chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, work a single crochet stitch in each of the nine chains, in each, even into the first one. <laughs> in each of the nine chains, that's not possible without, you have to skip the first one. I'll chain one extra. Okay, one, Two, eight, and nine. I still have three chains unworked from my first double crochet. There we go. All right. Now it says work round the stem thus made in double crochet. I don't know what that means. Three stitches into one, turn at the point. Okay, work round the stem thus made. Okay, the stem I just made, is this a stem? Probably. Work round the stem thus made in double crochet. Again, it, now it sounds like they're, it, I don't know. This one here is throwing me for a loop because I don't know if I'm supposed to be working UK terms or US terms. Really genuinely and truly don't know. Because when it said work a double crochet, was I supposed to work a single crochet? I don't know. Wow, I don't know. It really, th you know, it's if you don't know what stitches you're supposed to work, you can't work it. I don't know what year this is from. There's no year on here. That would help me figure it out. But Justin's about to be fired because that's this is the second pattern he didn't put a year on. Work a single crochet stitch, which would mean a slip stitch. If this is UK terms, if this is Victorian UK terms, a single crochet is a slip stitch. Did they mean work a slip stitch in each of the nine chains. That would make sense. I wouldn't have had to make an extra chain. So what are we doing here, people? Is this US or UK? What am I working with right now? I'm so confused. I think this is a UK pattern. 
I'm going to have to work that last stitch again. And that being said, I think I'm supposed to work a single crochet down here. I think, I don't know what these are supposed to be. I'm just leaving them. Because <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be. They want me to chain into the fifth. The fifth chain up means double trouble in U.S. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, work a single crochet. If this is UK, that means slip stitch, which means we can go right back into the very first stitch and start working slip stitches. One, I'll be right back. Two, I have worked my nine slip stitches. All right, work round the stem thus made in double crochet, which if this is UK, that's single crochet. Working three stitches into one, turn at the point. Miss one stitch of the preceding row. Work two, double crochet. Yeah, that's single crochet. This makes a petal. Repeat five more times. One, two, three, four, five. I, okay. Okay, uh, work round the stem. Makes no sense to me right now. It might later. <laughs> In the meantime, I am going to, I'm going to work single crochet, working three stitches into one, and then turn at the point. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. I do not know. This is one of those those instances where I, I think a photo is very needed. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. What I think they mean, <clears throat> I really hope I'm right. They're saying... Uh, work round the stem thus made in double crochet. So what I'm going to do is turn. Well, let me chain one. Now I'm going to turn. And it says here, working three stitches into one, turn at the point. So I think what I need to do is work into each slip stitch, work one single crochet. One. Yeah, I'll be right back. So I have worked eight single crochet. So here at the point, I think we got to work three single crochet into the point. One, two, and three. And then work eight more single crochet going back down. One, I'll be right back. That's two. I got my eight stitches going back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's my three at the point. Okay, and then it says, um, miss one stitch of the preceding row. Oh, oh. Oh, I messed up. Okay, miss one stitch of the preceding row, work two. Single crochet. This makes a petal. Wait, what? Miss one stitch of the preceding row, work two. Single crochet. This makes a petal. Up here or down here? Repeat five more times. So, yeah, I'm, you know what? Miss one stitch of the preceding row. I'm going to assume that's the single crochet. I think I was supposed to work eight stitches back down. It doesn't say so, but I think I was. Miss one stitch of the preceding row, work two, double crochet, single crochet. This makes a petal. So, okay, in the you know what? In the chain space, I'm just going to work two. It's not really telling me more than that. 
one and two. Okay, because it's not really, it's not giving me any more. At a glance, the cut will help explain this. I don't know what the cut is other than, do they mean the picture? Because it says right here, working three stitches in one to turn at the point. Then it says, miss one stitch of the preceding row, work two double crochet, this makes a petal. Okay, because we don't just have a comma here, we have a semicolon. So I think that means your next step after working back down the petal is to miss one stitch of the preceding row and work two single crochet. This makes a petal. Repeat from here five more times, making six petals in all. At a glance, the cut will help to explain this. I think the cut means a picture. Okay. Now the wrong side of my work is facing me. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of this next stitch over. And I mean, do I have to make one single crochet? Did I even have to make it here? I don't know. It's not telling me to make any more single crochet. It's saying to repeat, which tells me, did we even need to make this single crochet here? Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did wind up working 10 because um, I still couldn't slip stitch properly uh, with nine. So skipping the first chain, I'm going to work nine slip stitches down. One, two, and three. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around, and I will be right back whenever I have got six petals made. I really hate that I had to work a single crochet there. Like, look what it's doing. It's pushing the petal off to the side. Like, that's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> anyway it's not that bad okay I'll be right back okay so here is what I have I'm not exactly sure how to end this mm, I don't remember if it's sad it just says that at a glance okay okay so what I'm gonna do then is uh I'm just gonna I've already worked my two single crochets so I hate that this is like this I really wish we never worked that single crochet so you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to slip stitch into the bottom of this first stitch of my petal just to bring it down. Just because it's all yanked up like that. Look at that. That brought it right down. Awesome. Okay. Here is what I have. All right. Round three. Work at the back of the last row behind the petals. Make one petal between each petal in the last row. One double crochet, okay, so one single crochet at the back of each, which fastens the petal into its looped shape. Looped shape? Um, and cut the silk. Oh, the silk is, we're supposed to be using silk, guys. Silk is the thread, okay. Cut the silk at the end of the round. Work at the back of the last row. Work at the back of the last row. So I'm gonna bend my petal forward and I'm supposed to make petals between. I wonder, do I turn? Would that be easier if I made a petal here? It said between, back of the last row, okay. Let me just let me just slip stitch my way over because it doesn't say to turn, but it I don't know. It's a bit vague. This has to be a pattern from the Victorian era. Has to be. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna slip stitch into this right here. I don't really know what it is. Kind of a little nodule. <laughs> slip stitch my way over. Just kind of putting my hook wherever it will go into. 
preferably a full stitch, or at least a full, not full stitch, but a full piece of thread. All right. Mm, slip my stitch, slip my stitch, slip stitch my way over again. And I'm going to chain nine. One, two, three. And I've been working fairly loose slip stitches as well. One, two, three. I'll be right back. Four. My way down, I chained one. I'm just gonna do what I did before and start working single crochets up, over, around, and back down. So I will be right back whenever I have this petal completely finished, and then we will go on from there. Okay, let's see. I've finished the petal. Okay, work at the back of the last row behind the petals. Make one petal between each petal in the last row. One single crochet at the back of each, which fasten fastens the petal into its looped shape. I really wish we had a picture right now. <laughs> I've got a stitch right here. Fasten at the back, which gives it its looped shape. I don't, I don't think I'm translating their verbiage the way they're meaning it, you know? That's, that could just be a matter of so much time has gone by. You know what? I think I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to undo this slip stitch here. And starting at the edge of this petal, right back here, I'm gonna make my my new petal. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll see what I'm seeing in just a moment. Okay, so I remade my petal. I started it in the back of this petal here. I think this is what they meant. Like, I don't think this is like my discovery. This is what they were saying and I just wasn't translating it right away. Now, you can see the little space here at the bottom of this petal. There's a stitch right there. And I am just going to slip stitch into that stitch there. And now the petal is laying like this. You know, where there's no space at the bottom. There's no gap. Like that. And I think that's what they meant. In fact, I'm still probably too far over. They probably meant to work from back here and then secure it way back over here. Way back over here. Don't ask why I'm talking like this. <sighs> Trying to figure this out. <laughs> so, now starting in the center bottom of this petal here, I'm going to make another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nope, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this petal. I will be right back. Okay, so this petal is now made. And so one more time, I made the petal. I'm on the back of the flower now. I made the petal in the middle of this leaf. Now I'm going to secure it to the bottom middle See, when I pull up, there's a hole right here. That's right where I'm going to secure it. With a slip stitch. Then I'm just going to chain nine and or chain ten and do this all over again. So I'll be right back. I'm going to finish working all the way around. Okay, here's where I'm at now. And by the way, I have to mention, I read on through the pattern because I was really confused. Am I reading a UK or a US pattern? And as I read on, and it said right here, work two treble, I knew at that point that um, the long treble was a 
just a US treble, it's a UK double treble. So I went back and fixed these and I made them from um, US double trebles to just US trebles. So I did go back and fix the starting like little spoke area, but here's what we have now, let's read on. Okay, fourth round, work two single crochet at the point of each of the 12 petals. Chain five between each petal. Two single crochet at the point. So I guess pick a random, pick a petal, any petal. All right. There is a point. Work two single crochet, one and two. And then it was chain five between each petal. One, two, three, four, and five. And then work two more single crochet. UK double crochet. There's one and then two. So I'll be right back. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. And I think I'm just going to, it doesn't say how to finish. So I'm just going to finish with a slip stitch into the first single crochet made. Oh, I skipped a petal, didn't I? I surely did. One, two, three, four, five. And right here is my next petal. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, now I will be right back. This last one made. Okay, be back in a minute. To jump on real quick to show you what I've been doing instead of working two single crochet into one stitch i'm working them side by side so i'll work one in this first stitch here then i'll work a single crochet in the next stitch over and i just kind of like the way it looks yeah that's what i'm doing <laughs> oh right i went ahead and weaved in my ends just to get them out of our way but this is what i have now and let's look and see what we're going to do next. Round five, work two U.S. double crochet at the point of each petal and between each petal, connecting each group of two treble by a chain five. Okay. Two double crochet at the point of each petal. So I'm gonna start with a chain three then, and then into my next single crochet over, I'm gonna work another double crochet. There we go. Chain five, and let's see here, um, one, two, one, two, do I work them? Two, do I work two into the middle stitch? And then chain five. And then two here. I keep forgetting to yarn over. All I can think about is how is this going to look? One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to skip the first two chains and work two in the middle. Yeah. 
Okay, that's what I'm doing, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and then work two here. I done did it again. All right, I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is what I have now. I like it, it's very pretty. Let's see what we're gonna do next. So it's the sixth and last round, work one single crochet, US single crochet, in the center of the last chain five. Then chain five and work one double in the center of the next chain five. Chain five, one slip stitch in the top of the treble stitch, chain six, one slip stitch in the same place, chain five, a third slip stitch in the same place, chain five, and then repeat. Okay. So I'm gonna need to, I'm starting off in the top of the doubles. All right. Uh, let's slip, let's slip stitch over one. I need to get to the third chain over to be in the center. There we go. And is that it? Yeah. Okay. One single crochet here. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And was it a, s oh, one double in the center of the next chain five. Okay. One, two, and right here. Then it says chain five and one slip stitch into the top of the next into the top of the treble stitch. Oh, into this treble stitch, not the next treble stitch, this one. Okay, nope, slip stitch. Is that a treble? Where is the top of my treble stitch? Boy, you'd think I was brand new. I couldn't see the top of my treble stitch. Okay, there, one, two, three, four, five, and into the top of that stitch, we go make a slip stitch, one, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Slip stitch into the same place. I don't know why I am struggling so hard to see the top of this stitch. It's so dark in here. It's my fault. <laughs> One. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two, three, four, five and a third slip stitch in the same place. Okay. There we go. Third slip stitch in the same place. Chain five and then repeat. One, two, three, four, Five. And so that is one, two, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Then we work one, two, a double crochet into the next chain five. And then we work the little Pico looking figure here. Okay, I am going to repeat this all around. I will be right back. 
Okay, I really do hope it's not too, too dark for you guys. So I worked my last little thing there, <laughs> chain five, and now I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my starting single crochet. And then that should be it. And it looks like a medallion, a motif. Clearly it's like a motif. All the little things it said it could be used for, I probably used too big of thread. But look at this, uh, counterpanes, corvairs, uh, corvettes, I don't know, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, for chairs, I'm gonna say covers, covers for chairs, sofas and bureaus, mats, pin cushions, and lace. I guess it all depends on the size thread you use. You can do all those different things. Here, let's cut. This is absolutely gonna be one for the scrapbook. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So I'm stuck waiting again because Justin stepped out with his father to run to the store for me real quick. So I've, and I, you know, I couldn't exactly ask him, hey, could you, you know, bring me the picture and all that first. I have to wait. So I am going to be right back as soon as he comes back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I made it a little bit brighter in here. Justin is back and, oh, I think I did it again. Would you look at that? Okay. I mean, I have to mess the nest in the next one up just because I'm so proud of myself right now. Like, Something bad have, has to happen to the next one. It just, I think I got it. Look at that. This is very cool looking, by the way, but I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Do you like this? Are you going to make one? Here's how they look. I mean, it seems like you just simply stitch the little tips of the, Picos or, wait, they called them clovers, clover leaves. So are you gonna, are you gonna make this? And what do you think? What do you think? Okay, my head is a little bit, my head's a little bit swole right now because damn, that looks exactly like the picture. What? I'm proud of myself for this one, okay? All right, you guys, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Oh, I'm so happy when it works out. Even if it didn't work out, I would have liked this anyway. So this is definitely gonna go into the scrapbook. And I really look forward to the next mystery with you guys and keep an eye out for the next big tutorial coming up. It is gonna be a multi-part tutorial, but you guys are really going to like this one. At least I think and hope you will. Okay, you guys, I love you lots, and I will see you in the next mystery. Bye.